Hello my Minecraft friends, I'm on day 1064 of a Minecraft survival world and I thought I'd take you on a tour of the many features of my home base. We've got a lot to see, so let's get right to it with a view across my land. As you can see right out there in the distance is a pillager, however I just can't be bothered dealing with him right now, so let's hope that him and his friends don't decide to shoot at me while I'm making this video. If you will kindly ignore the angry voices calling for my death right now, this is the storage I have in my house. As you can see, I needed quite a lot of it. I will finish this diorite floor eventually. However, as you can hear, there is some freaky cave ambience right now. So let's get out of here. This is my back room where I like to brew my potions and enchant my books and this leads conveniently into my back door towards my portal to hell. As my fellow property owners already know, an ensuite gateway to the dimension of eternal suffering is a hot and chic must have addition to any home, much like a dishwasher. We're leaving through the front door now to survey the scenic view of the beautiful land around my home. Around the side here is my profit generator, which I use to establish a brutally dominant monopoly over the local glass trade, for massive profits at the expense of enslaving a dozen or so cartographers. But hey, at least I'm rich. And here is my door guy. He makes sure that my underground villagers are always willing to breed by playing them the song of his people. For Minecraft villagers, the noise a door makes is basically Lionel Richie. I'm going to show you my creeper farm now. I followed an online guide, and now I have an easy source of gunpowder for my elytra. I just stand in this spot and watch the creepers splat nicely onto my hoppers. Battery farming may be unethical, but it sure is profitable. I mined out the whole chunk underneath to maximise my spawn rates. It still isn't very efficient, but it's perfectly fine for my needs. My underground realm is the pride of my 1064 days of gameplay. I learned a lot about villager mechanics by building this, and it's now my main source of emerald and XP. This is my villager breeding room, with plenty of beds for Netflix and chill. I've built a nice railway here so it's easier to force my newly bred villagers into a life of servitude before they can even see the sun. As I said before, I have a nice stranglehold on the local glass market, and it's all thanks to this underground sweatshop. All I have to do is sell my mountains of glass panes for massive profits and I have created plenty of demand. Villager trading is now a great way to earn XP and get rare items that otherwise would take a lot of exploration and mining. It's really one of my favourite Minecraft updates. I built a farm here because I thought it would encourage my villagers to breed, and I kept it here because it looks nice. This monstrosity here is my cobblestone XP farm. I haven't finished decorating the main room yet. I still don't know fully how hoppers work, so this is probably highly inefficient, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Basically, I have a cobblestone generator at the top, which, when I mine the cobble, will feed it into the chest below. And then, the furnaces, where it is smelted. I then gather the stone from the furnaces for a quick XP boost. I use the lifts on either side to get up to the generator, where I then use a macro that I programmed earlier to auto-mine the cobble. This means that I can be AFK and automatically will just keep mining. And those were the main highlights of my Minecraft home after 1064 days of ravaging the landscape, enslaving the locals and establishing a tight stranglehold on the economy. If you guys like this video, maybe I'll make more videos like this in the future that further showcase my descent into a maniacal dictator that rules all he touches with an iron fist. But for now, that's goodbye from me. Ta-ta!